Kimmerman Studio and today I have a unique kit which I bought from Hubbelink Japan way back 2022 and I find this kit very amazing and uh, very unique. It's like a combination of uh, Gundam and uh, Zoids, something like that because it can transform from uh, a tiger mode or lion mode into a mobile suit mode. It's very nice and very unique, that's why I bought this. And uh, it is uh, the 1100 scale uh, 100 edge armor from uh, Wave Corporation. And I think this is a collaboration of Wave and uh, Orange Cat Industries. Orange Cat Industries is known for their Tekaman, uh, Tekaman Blade uh, model kits and uh, some stuff. But, uh, this one, I find is very unique because uh, it can transform without uh, the use of interchangeable parts or changing parts. So it's very good and uh, it's a big kit. Based on the review, it's a big kit. Uh, it's like 22 uh, millimeters or yeah, something like that. 22 or 22 centimeters, something uh, that height. It can tower most of your master grades. So let's check this kit out from Wave Corporation and Orange Cat Industries 100 Edge R. So the box art here is uh, very nice, very unique, and it resembles a uh, Gundam at the same time uh, Zoid. It's like a fusion of Zoid and Gun Gundam and uh, there's uh, some super robot uh, aura on this one but uh, most likely it's like a real robot uh, ambience or vibe. So it came from uh, Wave Corporation and uh, Orange Cat Industry and uh, it is from the Code East. Honestly, uh, it's not an anime as uh, I research it because I don't see any anime of this uh, brand. And uh, you can see here 1100 scale model and uh, UMO. There's this UMO. UMO 100 edge armor. So, on the side of the box, we can see. Uh, some explanation here written in uh, Japanese text and I tried uh, scanning this barcode and what I found is uh, there's this storyline actually it's not a manga but it's like a story an ebook ebook style or version of a story and uh, as of this uh, recording they have already a an 11 chapter 11 chapters uh, story here so if you scan this uh, code here it will direct you to the code this.info and uh, you can read the story i just read uh, some explanations but i did not yet read the chapters of the story maybe this is uh, amazing if I finish the chapters. On the other side of the box, we can see the rear view, front view, the uh, transformation view from mobile suit to the lion mode or tiger mode. And uh, there uh, you can see some action poses. Actually, this is the upgraded version of the 100 edge because uh, this is the armor. So the original version of this is only the 100 edge. Uh, the difference between that two is it has uh, upgraded armors. As we can see here, there is uh, uh, additional blades, additional armors, and uh, some uh, uh, unique features added. Whereas, or unlike the uh, original one, it doesn't have the sabers only have uh, 
It only has the sword, the shield, and uh, the rifle. But this one, it has, it, it has uh, additional armors and uh, weapon, weaponries. So if we open the box here, actually this is a big box. Big uh, box, same as the Master Grade, big Master Grades. We can see the instruction manual here. Uh, same as the box art, we can see the 100 edge arma wave, uh, orange cat industry, and uh, the paper of this manual is glossy, and I find this very nice, nicely printed. And see, you can see the gloss uh, effect of uh, the paper. And uh, the parts list here is amazing because uh, it's organized, organized. Uh, Printed, we can see the runners A, the B, C, D, E. So uh, if, uh, all runners included in the box, and it's organized. It's in chronological uh, order, and uh, we can see some uh, uh, colored uh, numbers, number guide when you are building the unit. So it's printed in black and white until uh, here in uh, the middle so in the middle we can see some uh, uh, story excerpt or excerpts from the related scene there's this uh, lion mode here but sad to say it's all in Japanese and I cannot read Japanese maybe I will just read the uh, chapter which I saw from the barcode and we can see this uh, nicely looking uh, silhouette of the 100 edge armor and uh, the continuation of uh, the kit and the painting guide which is very nice i like the texture of the instruction manual it's very smooth glossy and shiny so we go to the parts here to be honest, I find the uh, packaging very good and well presented because each runners have their own uh, plastic wrapping. So unlike in the Bandai where they uh, put together some uh, runners like two runners, three runners, here all runners are, are individually wrapped. In plastic we have this uh, uh, tape tape uh, seal here so it's easy to open but I find this tedious because uh, it's individually wrapped so I will just uh, combine my runner review and the pack package review here so we have here runner F uh, gray colored runners here we have uh, runner E for uh, the arm uh, inner frame parts. There's this hand here. Runner E. Runner G for white runners here. So, okay, this is uh, two runners inside the plastic packaging. So, runner G and uh, runner H. Runner G and H here. Then, this is uh, runner N. So they are wrapped together with runner O. So we have two runner O and one runner N here, white colored plastics. We have this uh, brown orange or brownish orange runner, which is the runner K here. We have uh, runner I here, gray colored plastic with the uh, this uh, aqua blue or bluish green uh, runners here small runner for the runner uh, J yes this is uh, I think runner J here yes runner J with some uh, foil stickers there are foil stickers for the green parts maybe these are for the eyes and the uh, camera lenses or scope lenses for the gun we have here uh, transparent runners the runner M and uh, uh, ru uh, so this is two runner M for the clear 
plastics for the saber and the uh, eye visors. The visors here. We have runner P and the uh, another runner P. So we have two runner P's here in gray color uh, form. We have uh, this grayish uh, transparent parts. So this is runner M. Ah, okay. I know because uh, this is the original stock and this is the bonus stock the transparent one here so we have the transparent and the uh, gray gray colored uh, clear gray colored uh, parts here maybe I'll stick in this uh, gray colored one because uh, it will stand out more than the transparent one so I will just keep this I'll keep this as a spare tip okay then we have here uh, runner uh, C it's like uh, bluish uh, dark bluish colored uh, runner here we have another uh, sets of clear colored plastic here for the saber and the shield parts we have uh, bluish black runner here for the runner D we have uh, two sets of runner A these are bluish uh, black bluish black something like that that's how I see it I don't know if it's the same uh, appearance here in the screen and uh, last but not the least we have the grayish colored runner for the runner B so we have two sets of runner B here so uh, let's start building this unique kit this uh, 100 edge armor from uh, wave corporation and uh, orange cat industries let's do this <laughs> 